Okay, coal is our next town to rebuild. Yeah, the overview didn't show much green to begin with. A lot of sand and a lot of lava. Ooh, monsters. A lot of monsters, I guess. Eee. That doesn't sound good. Let me guess, the Banner of Hope. And it's a nice red banner this time. Okay, well... Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and whatever else is watching. My name is Nick. And we are playing once more Dragon Quest Builders and I have to get used to the buttons again because it's been a while since I uh, I actually played. And well, this chapter is cool. And the beginning of this chapter is rough. Um, as you can see, I am once more the Wayfarer clothes and I changed back to the male version. And I have a wooden mallet and my oaken club again. Pretty much the standard to start a, these chapters with. And we got something from Elle this, in the previous chapter. She gave us a bag of medicinal herbs. And... Trust me, you're gonna need to use that. Um, if you're going to the light source, my advice... Take along a bit of IV and all that kind of stuff. Ouch! And get some resources going. You're gonna need it. A, lot, a bit of clay as well. Um... These things don't give stone. No, they don't give stone. Damn. We need branches. We need some dried grass. A lot of dried grass, actually. So, also, don't try to loiter a little bit too much in this chapter because, like I said, this chapter is rough, especially the beginning. Because if you look around, you don't see any mushrooms. No mushrooms? Well, you have a hard time getting any food in this chapter. Especially early on. And in my first playthrough, I actually went on a little while starving because I took a little bit too long for getting going. Getting yourself some uh, white petals for med medicine is also a very good idea. Uh, let's plant this thing because, well, I welcome you to coal. Or at least what's left of it. Oh, that's really good to hear, that my uh, efforts weren't wasted, weren't done in vain. That they are fighting back, that's good to hear, actually. Oh, that's not so good to hear. So, in other words, hurry up. Wait, has the hero come to Cantlin just yet? The legendary hero? The one who is supposed to slay the Dragon Lord? Oh boy. Uh, 
I hope I don't have to fight too much. Because I'm a builder, I'm not a hero and... Hello, who are you? Hey, who are you? Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, these guys, they have a funny accent. <laughs> hello, hello, what's going on here? <laughs> That's how his voice sounds like in my mind. Uh, secret base this was once a very public town how can this be a secret base and well there's not much left of this base as well but by the way I am the legendary builder nice to meet you yeah I'm pretty much here to build back the town What's a builder when it's at home? What do you mean with that? What? Okay. Hey, it's not stupid. And why am I a loony? Uh, no, I'm gonna rebuild this town, if you don't mind. Well... Nice to meet you, Glutamus. And no, I'm not going. Okay, so... You might want to start cleaning up this town already and uh, look around for a little bit. Well, you can take a look around, but don't do too much because, like I said, you're going to be starving. You don't have any food. So, let's see what this is. Experimental weapon test site. Okay, apparently this is where weapons were tested. And I see a few books lying around. Covered in closely packed writing with scientific diagrams. Inventor's instruction manual. Uh, how does that make my head hurt? Because I'm a builder, shouldn't I be able to read that book and understand it oh a passage to tentagel we have our next chapter in the voyage of sir reginald augustus grains of the cantlin brigade of course i'd like to read it located far to the north of cantlin is the village of Cole. Well, it's more northeast, north, northeast. It's actually north of Remoldar, which is a little bit to the east of Cantlin. Uh, but uh, who cares? The settlement was once surrounded by a lush and verdant forest, but those days are long gone. Yeah, it looks rather brown here. Lakes of liquid lava have sprung forth from deep within the earth and threaten to overwhelm the area at any moment. The volcanic forces that fueled the hot bars upon which Cole's fortunes did once depend now threaten its very existence. No doubt the Dragon Lord is behind these calamitous eruptions using his subtle crafts to turn the earth itself against mankind. Though the light hath been snatched from the skies and the world plunged into the depths of despair, the people of Cole still have hope. 
Tis all due to the public boss, whose restorative influence keeps the people's spirits afloat in these perilous times. Alas, the far-famed purveyors of Puff Puff have long <laughs> okay, sorry, Puff Puff, <laughs> long since departed this place. I can only pray that their art, which once drew pleasure, seekers to call from all over Elfgard, has not been lost to the ages. Sir Reginald Augustus Grains, Cantlin Brigade of Guards. Yeah. He references the two things that make Cole in or give Cole their identity in this uh, in Dragon Quest One. Okay, next up, this will be our building or our workstation. It is the Miner's Refiner Recipes. The chapter in this chapter, we will do a lot of metallurgy. So we will be building, well, do some metal work. Um, yeah, why not create a lot of healing green? I'm gonna need it. This chapter is rough. Um, medicinal herb, you can already create a bucket, a fishing rod. Fishing rod requires broken branch, cord, prickly peach, prickly peach I haven't found yet. We can create torches but we need orange oil for that. Not the blue one this time. Blue slime. Sconces, bonfire, braziers, uh, cord. I am gonna need a lot of cord. So let's build that as well. Straw door, I'm gonna need a few of those because I'm gonna need to set up some beds and some <coughs> a kitchen to start off with straw mattresses those will be our first uh, well let's start off with two of them because glutamates will, will all otherwise take it from me uh, chest is a good idea. Wash tubs, miner, cook fire. Didn't I have? Oh, I don't have enough broken branches. Yeah, a shovel. I need iron for that. Oaken club, stone. I need stone, but I have only those small pebbles and they don't give stone. Leather armor, I need fur and copper for that. Ooh. Fur and wood. Oh, wood. Of course, wood. That means I'm not going to be making any shield until the, I reach the second island. And because... Yeah. Okay. Um, first up, I think... I'm gonna need some of this. I'm gonna need that. I was going to need branches. A lot more. Okay, now I have the branches. And that means I can make a cook fire. And can I, do I have enough for a second chest? Yes, I have. Okay, so let's start with that. I need those. Let's start by building a bedroom and a kitchen first. Um, okay. For the bedroom. And yeah, that makes a basic bedroom. I can sleep at night. And this will be my 
Already? Okay, that's an empty room. I can make a crude kitchen. Youch, Glutamus, will you help me? No, he won't. He won't be helping me. Um, let's put this here for now. Okay, at least that's our basic base going already. I have something to sleep. I have something to cook, cook food. Our basic food here is not this. Because squid you need to fish. And that requires a fishing rod. Fishing rod? Fishing is not the most efficient way to get food. Also additionally, sardine on a stick requires coal. I don't have coal yet. This one I need to fight chimeras or those ghosts at night. And it's a very rare drop. So you won't be using that either. Bunnycorns, I need to defeat those. However, meat in this chapter is a very rare drop. And I also don't have coal just yet. Again, all these four things are not really viable food sources at this moment either. Um, for the rest, so that means I need to, well, put you away, put you away, put you away. I don't need immediate clay, so okay, for that. If we want to get a very good food source, we need to progress the story to get the recipe for that food. So that's why I say don't loiter around too much because, oh man, you know what? I'm gonna do it during the night this time. Why? I'm gonna rebuild here. I just made a bedroom for you to sleep in, okay? No, I don't like you. What's wrong with how I look? Sure, sure, but who is Bobella? No, you just have something that says, hey, I want something done and I might be able to help you. Okay. That was the cool boss. Really? You want me to create a bath and not get something else for survival like food defenses whatever no these guys pretty much have boss on the brain full time they think glutamus also thinks that i am a bodybuilder instead of a builder They aren't the brightest bunch in this case. And that is what is going to make this chapter so awesome! Okay, first things first. Let's clean out these bars. Shall we? Because we need at least 12 blocks of hot water. And, well, oops, this is 12 blocks. I just picked up a hot water crystal. This is pretty much the same thing as the blue water crystal that we had in Rimoldar. Uh, if I place it on the wrong level, it's not going to do anything. However, it does make new water. It can be used as a water source. And therefore, it's also a water block. Um, you know, 
this chapter is not really that healthy to stay up at night, especially not in the beginning. So fix the bathrooms, will ya? Okay. Oh man. These body builds. So let's fix up the holes in the walls first. And that makes a public bath. And because I already once had built this bath by accident or in a and not a recording. Uh, no buildings, room recipes. I need to go through public baths. It requires 12 blocks of water and a light source. A room replete with steaming spa water. It has no eff other effect than the recipe itself is 100 points. Um, but it still is the basis for something that is more, far more important that we will see later on. Yeah, but don't you want something to eat first? Or get your mates back. Isn't that a bit more of a... Uh... What are you say? Yeah, I'm gonna take a bath after you have taken a bath, okay? No, I'm not that interested. I'm not interested at all. Okay, for reference, he thinks with building, it's body building. So building up muscles and all that. He has no idea that I'm actually referring to building up houses and everything. Construction. Seriously? Okay, apparently these guys really have baths on their mind and if you can give them a good steamy bath then they consider you as a friend. Maybe the dragon lord needs to do that. Then they drop their guards and they can destroy them uh, a little bit easier. Broken branches is something I could always use. <laughs> Okay, he already has the second quest on his mind. So maybe now it's time to actually... That's a little bit close, Glutamus. My name is Nick. What's wrong with my name? My mother gave it to me, okay? And my father did that. It's a good name. Yeah. So you want me to save your mates? Go uh, go around and fight them and find them because they split up after the monster uh, last monster attack yeah i could do that i need to go for resources anyway wait what you want me to wait he really has boss on his mind the only thing that he does is bodybuilding and taking a bath Intelligent arguments. Hey, and what's wrong with my face? Okay, I don't really know how to react to that. 
Tower Rails. I haven't seen that one uh, on the on our workstation. Is that something we can make already? Okay. I just learned how to make a tower rail. Okay. So we need two wash tubs and three. Oh, I moved it over there. And three towel rails. Just a little moment. Okay, let's see. I can make at least two wash tubs. And then I need to find more broken branches. What do I need for the tower rails? Well, broken branches and fur. Okay, well, the cord uh, is defined over there that you need. Branches, pretty much this. And you need a lot of them. Oh no, not already a chimera. No, 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 no. I could use the chimera wings though. Okay, for the fur, you need to actually go back to where we started. We need it to go back to where, well, where we teleported in by the, pretty much. I could also use some orange oil as well. Okay, um, let's see, let's climb up here. Because this is the place where you can find hammer hoods. And I hope I can also find brownies already or do I need to fight a hammer hood first before they show up I am going to need to fight the hammer hood first aren't I yeah I probably need to fight the hammer hood first I wasn't planning on doing that hammer hood I'm sorry Ouch. Now the brownies should be showing up. But the hammerwoods themselves also. Ouch. Give her. Stay away from their hammers though. Because they hurt. Uh, where are my brownies? Why is... Oh, they are the brownies now. The ones that are angry with me because I started to hurt them. And none of the little ones? Okay. Ouch. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Okay. Ooh, I was lucky. That's only the big brownie. Well, I'm gonna need a leather sack at one point as well. So, yeah. I think I have sufficient fur at this mo for this moment, but I could do with some a big stone as well. Do I? No, there's nothing where there is big... Ouch. I almost fell to hurt myself. Branches. We need lots and lots of branches. I could use with some additional oil. And 
I could use some stone so I can have a stone sword. Ouch! Um, you know what? I am going to try to figure out if behind there, on that side, there are some big stones. Because I really could use some. ending will be where we are going to leave it or leave uh, town but no big stones in the here I really have to go beyond that part don't I yep I need to go beyond that that's not gonna be fun ah man Okay, let's build. Well, we already have the wash tubs. Let's build ourselves the towels then. That's one, two, three. Let's put away the rest. Also, I am going to need this, and that means healing cream. Yeah, make as much as I can. We can make buckets. I actually never built a bucket here. What can I do with that? Does that open up a recipe if I use it in here? A scoop of hot water and it doesn't give anything okay let's finish let's finish the the cool public boss room at space let's go down a cool public boss it requires 12 blocks of hot water, a towel rail three times and two wash tubs and a light source. A place to freshen up not only your body but your clothes too. Residents will change into new clothes. This means that actually it f this thing functions the same as the changing room and the haberdashery however those rooms came halfway through the story and well we already get it now that's pretty fast the first thing one of the first things you get but then again really he does only have bars on his mind doesn't he The symbol of a hideout of coal. This is a public town. How is this? Okay. I can say base. But hideout? A secret base? No. Really? These guys really only have bars on their minds, don't they? <laughs> Especially this guy. Yeah, but isn't it more important to get him back? Well, 
Wow, these guys are already at war with the Dragon Lord. They are already fighting back against the monsters. Impressive. In the other uh, chapters, they pretty much had submitted to the mon monsters until we came along. These guys are still fighting. Oh, that's why it's such a uh, shambles. Oh, Bobella got taken by the monsters. Well, we need to rescue them. But I do think we need to find your buddies as well, the other boys. Well, this light mix act gives you actually the ability to build again. And I don't mean bodybuilding. Okay, but I don't think it's gonna do much. It's not gonna do anything for my uh, health or, so or something. Now that this is a the public boss, well, he is going to put on his regular clothes, which actually means he's taking off the rags and just reveals what is underneath it. And you can see what our next mission is going to be. That's going to be in the morning. Okay, he already has... Seriously, he's already going to the bath back. He has this mission now for us. That is really fast. Really? Because I was thinking you were standing here in this hot water. But the monsters are already coming. That doesn't sound too good. Yeah, we'll just knock some sense into them, just like I did with the other chapters. Hey, I've defeated my fair share of monsters. And with you by my side, it's not gonna be that difficult. What do you mean, you never forget me? You're gonna be fighting by my side. Uh... Yeah, Glutamus is pretty much useless. He won't fight monsters. Oh, we have some brownies. Ow. Okay, fighting here is rough. They do a lot of damage, and that guy at least even more so. Oh boy, oh boy. Stay away, stay... Ah, stay away! Can't you chase Glutamus for a little, little bit? Ouch. Try to have a lot of medicine at this point because you'll be fighting here and because I haven't been able to make a stone sword I will have to do with my oaken club and this guy 
Ow! That's what I mean, Bith. He hurts. Okay, lure, uh, hit him a few times, then try to make him run against something. And now run away! Okay, okay, okay. Come on! Okay, that's sufficient. You can now come here. Come in. No, 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 no. No, do your charge thing! Please! Ouch! Oh boy, that means you need to know how to dance. Yeah, you need medicine here. Glutamus is entirely useless. He is monsterphobic. He won't be helping you! So, yeah. And... This is pretty much it. This is what you can expect during this chapter. This chapter is at war. You will be doing a lot of fighting. Early on in this chapter it will come from here. Later the experimental test site. This is where the monsters will be coming from. And it's gonna be rough. At this point we still don't have a good food source so I won't be taking that long. But next time we are going to see if he has another bath related quest for us or if we are going to actually go get his mates back. And one of his mates will be actually giving us the proper food source. Oh boy! Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Leave a did dislike if you didn't enjoy it. All in all, I still would well appreciate if you could give some constructive criticism down in the comments so I can improve my videos in the future. I thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye!